Hi everybody, welcome back to my family's channel, The Happy Healthy Vegans. I'm Stephanie and today I'm going to be making some homemade bagels. I haven't made them in a while, so I'm kind of excited. I am making jalapeno cheddar. So I'm following a recipe off Pinterest that I've followed for a while, but it's not vegan. I had to modify it, which wasn't really that hard, just substitute the cheese and whatever. But so anyways, let's go, let's make us a bagel. So we're going to start off, I have two tablespoons of, I can't really see it, but there's sugar under here, and then it's a teaspoon and a quarter of dry active yeast. I'm just going to add half a cup of warm water. And stir that up. And then we're going to let it sit for about five minutes. Once it starts bubbling, your yeast is active. All right, I'm going to let that sit for five minutes. Okay, so what do we got here? This is three and a half cups of whole wheat all-purpose flour. Okay. And then I have a teaspoon and a half of salt. I'm just gonna mix in. And then once the yeast is done activating, then I'll put it in here as well. And then I will add my jalapenos that I've got chopped up and my three quarter cups of cheese. Now is that Daya or is that? This the, is the Earth oh, Island. This is the Earth, this is the this Earth is Island. This is the you got from Earth, uh, Healthy Planet. Yes, the new one that I've never seen, the Fiesta Blend. Okay. Cheddar and Pepper Jack. I'm pretty excited actually. I hope it adds a different element to the cool, that's good. taste. Cool. So the recipe calls for three fresh jalapenos chopped and de-seeded. I never use fresh. I always use the pickled ones and it turns out just as good and it has Real no heat, it just has like a nice flavor to it. Um, I think I used probably three or four tablespoons and just chopped them up with some scissors. I have a rant. I've been trying to make my own stuff at home. Bagels, uh, Rice Krispies, uh, fruit leathers, whatever. I'm trying to stay away from processed stuff. Even party mix, and I can't keep up. These people, just keep eating it all, and I barely even eat it. My husband, my two children, and it's gone. I make granola bars, I make all kinds of different stuff, and I can't even keep it in the fridge or the freezer, it drives me nuts. Anyways, right over. Okay, it's been five minutes. As you can see, the yeast is nice and activated. It's all bubbly. I'm just gonna make a well in here, pour it in. Oh, and if anybody wants to come on my rant, comment on my rant, let me know how you feel. If you have the same problem. I'm gonna fold in my jalapenos. It's not me because I'm not eating this much. So. Uh, it's usually besides this month and my cheese. Now we're gonna fold that all gently in. I was mixing this. I'm wondering why it wasn't really working because I forgot to have another cup or so of water I have to add in. So yeah, let's try this again. There we go. Now this does need to be uh, kneaded for like five minutes or so. So I'm, once I kind of have this mixed in, I'm gonna put it on my KitchenAid and get that kneading because I'm not doing it by hand. And I might have to add more water because I think I'm missing a quarter cup of water still. I'm gonna get this on the mixer. Add the water? Yeah, I'm gonna get it on the mixer first and then One of the best tools we ever bought. <clears throat> right? I hope it's plugged in. It's not. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I'm going to get this meeting. What do you put it at? Uh, it's at two, in between two and four. I'm going to add my other quarter cup of water for about five minutes. One off, so I'm going to take this off of here. I'm going to take off the hook. I can never figure this thing out. There we go. That's a nice ball of dough. Yes, it is. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Now, was that whole wheat flour again? Or no? This is whole wheat flour, yeah. I kind of see it. It's brown, right? Yeah. So, get this off my fingers. I just wanna kinda of scrape the bottom to make sure we're all mixed up. 
Oh yeah. Gotta love a dough hook. Okay, now I'm gonna cover this with a damp cloth and let it sit for an hour and a half. Ooh. That's the hardest part of making bagels is- The wait time. The wait time. It's very sad. Okay. All right. That's asking what a damp towel does over top of the- Doughs. Dough, so. I don't know what it does. research it, but she doesn't know. Here. That's no. covered, but we'll see in an hour and a half. Hi. It's been an hour and a half. And look at that dough. Wow! Doesn't that look great? What is that? Just the growth? What is what? It's just a bubble. It's a jalapeno. Oh, it's a jalapeno. <laughs> Very good. All right, I already have some flour on my cutting board, so I'm just going to slowly. I had to wash my hand and then put some flour, so I'll be right back. Chat for it. Okay. I'm just going to add some flour on top. I'm going to need to add a little bit. It gets sticky, so I'm going to start to knead it. Okay, so now... How am I going to knead it for? It's just to kind of blend more flour in. It's not long. I've actually never seen you do this process. No? Nope. No, you just get to eat them after. Yep. Nope. Right? No, I never had them. You've had lots of my bagels. Never. I felt kind of good, actually. <laughs> All right. So now that we've beat our dough. That's competing? <laughs> oh, jeez. You're well off. Okay. So we want to... We're making about eight bagels. So we're going to actually get my dough cutter. You can probably make more if you do those thin bagels. Do you want to do a nice size bagel? No, I don't want to do thin bagels. That's not a bagel. That's a joke. They're actually not bad. I didn't mind that bagel. Okay. Well, to me, a bagel's going to have substance. Oh, sorry. Miss See how it's getting sticky? Because the middles are... Because the middles are... Not. No flour in the middle. Listen. <laughs> Essentially, you're cutting this. You're making little buns. You want eight bagels. Oh, so. don't you love that tool I bought? That's your butter for me to do empanadas. Well, how oh. would you make empanadas with that? You cut it. So you cut it and you run your roll the dough. Okay, honey. Which that video should be coming up soon, too. Probably be before this one. No. Should be. You think so? Yeah. I don't know the way you like your bagels. You might put this up first. <laughs> empanadas, been I... waiting, empanadas been waiting a while. <laughs> yes, they have actually. Okay. Oh, oh, a little sticky. All right. Now that you have. How's my cutting board doing? Doing pretty good. Eight. Bun. Bagel buns. You're going to kind of make them into a ball, and you're going to... Pop a hole in it? Pop a hole. Really? I thought you rolled them, and then you rolled it together. No. Like a donut. No. Donuts, you don't roll it. You stick it in a pan, and it grows. You don't put water on there. <laughs> That's a big one. You know how to try and make them bagel-like as possible? Yeah, but really... Not doing so well. <laughs> there you go. It's pretty malleable. And then from there, you transfer them right to... Putting them on a lined cookie sheet. Now, when you put them on this lined cookie sheet, you have to let them sit again? Yeah, half hour, actually. To let them do what? No. Grow a little bit more. They're going to grow more? Yeah. I know, but it's worth it. This is not... The easiest of recipes, probably, for especially a beginner. You're probably, what do you say, out of 1 to 10, how hard would this recipe be? Like a 7, 8, or is it a little easier than, than one? It's a 6, I'd say. It's not that hard, but it's not easy either. What? You're going to boil them? I have to boil them first for about 3 to 4 minutes, 2 minutes on each side. Okay. You probably do like 2 or 3 bangles at a time, depending on the size of your pan. Um, and then... And then I gotta bake them 
at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Oh, this is going to be a little bagel. Um, then I put a layer of cheese on top. And then I bake them for another 10 minutes and then let them completely cool. So it's a process. Sometimes it's just a lot easier to go to the store and grab, but at least you know what's in here. It's not full of preservatives. It's not yeah, you know exactly so salted you out. It. You know exactly. And you can, this is just a base. You can do cinnamon raisin. Um, Th this is our favorite. That's why. Yes, this is our favorite. The kids love it. We love it. We'll have to do everything bagels. Everything bagels. I don't really like the everything bagel. I, I found like that they were bagel. when I made them. I found they were too salty. Or I onion bagel. Just, yeah. That's another good one. I haven't made that yet. I haven't made onion bagel yet. So okay. So we're just gonna cover this with the wet towel that I have. What really? And let that sit for half an hour. Okay. All right. See what happens. Uh, now the kids are coming out of the woodwind or what? <laughs> and they're checking out what is happening in here. They want the food. That looks weird. It's bagels. <laughs> so this has actually been sitting here like an hour because I forgot to get my water boiling. So they're plumped up quite a they're bit. really thick. So I have my slotted spoon. That's yeah. There's all slots in there, just hold. Uh, I'm having a hard time picking it up. Yes. You gonna put the flour down? Yeah, we're not supposed to have to. One. Oh, it's moving. Two. They actually got really thick. Yeah, they did. So you gotta boil them how long? Two minutes on each side. Two minutes? So, timer. Start. What's your favorite thing about this recipe? Mine? When you get to eat it? Yeah. That's it? Only when you get to eat it? Well, and the dough hook. And the dough hook. Mm -hmm. Dough hook's important. Hey, I forgot to mention that your oven, you want to preheat it to 425 degrees while you wait for your a half hour for your bagels to sit. This is what they're kind of looking at like right now. Almost done. Okay. Whoa, it's been 10 minutes. Now I take this out of the oven. Oh, it smells. You can smell the jalapenos. It smells good. They don't look appealing, but they are bagels. <laughs> I'm gonna smother them in some cheese. And put them back in the oven for 10 minutes. They, they freeze well, though. Yeah, they do. They do freeze well. Look at that. I need more cheese in that. That's not enough cheese. That's like two days and it's gone. Oh, is that? You and your ranch, you just gotta get a bigger oven. What? I need a bigger oven. I guess like, I'll buy a, 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 when we get ready to renovate the kitchen, it'll be a 48 inch wide oven. Oh my God. Watch out, I'm gonna this back in the oven. I think that's enough cheese. For 10 more minutes. It's actually really heavy. Stop to, oh. Wow, they look good now. What? 10 minutes was a wonder, eh? Jeez, look at that. I probably would even put them over for less. Eight minutes, maybe. Wow, that looks really, really good. Yeah, you can eat them. I would let them cool. Right now. I wouldn't suggest it, though. It might burn your mouth. I let them cool. I would let them cool completely. Then you can cut them in half and toast them. Do whatever you want to do to your bagel. I think tomorrow I'm making PLTs. Boyd and I with these bagels. Which is a vegan BLT. So, yes, excited. That'll be another video. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my bagels and you give them a try. And uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being a subscriber and I appreciate your support. And please, if you watch my video and you like the content, please subscribe and smash the like button. I really appreciate it. Bye now.